Hello and welcome to more NES Remix 2! The plan? You guys know it. Let's go do the rest of Zelda 2 and the rest of Mario Bros. 3. I think I'm gonna start things off with Zelda. We'll go right to stage 6. Let's see if this is more difficult than the five stages we've had to do already. It says use B to talk to the swordsman inside the building. That sounds extremely challenging. How can I possibly manage pressing the B button? Oh gosh, we have to go way inside here. Where's this? There he is. Okay, I press the B button. When you jump, press downward to stab. Now we have the, the jump down stab. I'm guessing, yep, now we have to actually do it. So we... There we go, I did it. <laughs> you legit just press A and then press down. So knock Ribonac off his horse. Alright, let's do some jump stab on him. Maybe that'll come in handy. Why would they give us the jump stab and then not have us use it here? Yes, that worked out nicely. Ooh, look at that combo! Boom! Right off of his horse. Take that, Rebonac. Did we get some rainbows? Yeah! I think that might be the first rainbows I've gotten for Zelda 2. Hold, hold on, let me check. I'm not sure if they're the first rainbows. Okay, so we got that. Uh, no, we got a few rainbows, actually. How did I forget about those? I just did that. Yeah, whatever, let's go to stage 7. This time, enter the town! Oh, I was gonna say, is that really it? But I guess there's a little side detour. And we have very low HP. I have some magic here. Do I have any kind of in-game healing? I know there's a healing spell, but I guess we don't have access to that right now. We got that guy taken care of. Ooh, no! They got me! Oh, I can take one more hit. Don't get wrecked. Okay, just run away from these guys. Just gonna dodge him. Is that all I have to do? Nope, there is another combat sequence. Oh, we got attacking vicious bubbles of doom! Dodge the bubbles. Stay away from me, Bubbles! Okay. I do have to admit, Bubbles is my favorite Powerpuff Girl, but... That doesn't mean I want to get hit by the- Oh, come on! Round two with the Bubbles. I have taken a hit once again, so if I get hit by anything here, which will probably be the Octorok at the end again, this is not looking good. Okay. Just... Don't get hit. Boom! Boom! Oh! Oh, the Bubble! Gosh. Alright, round three, and this time I have made it here with two hits in stock, so the Bubbles... They're not gonna wreck me. The Octorok's not gonna Octa wreck me. Let's go! Dodge these bubbles. Okay, go ahead and do your crud. You're dead! You're dead to me, man. And we made it! Yes! Is that enough? Are we at the town? Boom! We made it! Alright, guys. Enter the town complete. Take that, Stage 7. You are not even that big of a challenge. Well, I have to be completely transparent and honest with you guys. After the first failure, I reset probably 20 times because I could not get past the first Octorok without getting hit. It was pretty awful. So I have to defeat two enemies by reflecting their magic. I don't know how to use the reflect spell at all. Oh, I guess I can just use my shield. I probably have the mirror shield or something like that. That was not enough to kill them, though. Oh, well, there we go. Got him! A hundred experience each for those guys. We have to defeat Karak here. Do I just reflect, reflect his magic a whole bunch? I don't know. Oh, it looks like it's hitting him. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, it's gonna... Ow, never mind. I was just gonna sit there, but... Apparently now he's being evil and going back and forth around me. Dang it, would you stop spawning on top of me? Stop doing that, crud, bro! Stop it! Oh my gosh! Don't spawn on top of me. Did, oh, he got me. This time I'm gonna try sitting in the corner. I'm not sure if he'll ever actually go this far. I'm hoping he's not. He's getting hit quite a lot. Wow, okay. So it looks like if you sit in the corner on that boss, a lot of the things you reflect... Just happened to hit him a lot more easily. So there we go. And rainbow performance on that one. I will gladly take that. We can now play stage 11. We've gotten a lot of bonus stages and we have not even begun Remix 2. We're going to get that to that eventually, guys. Don't you worry. So we just have two more stages for Zelda 2 here. Let's see. Touch the fairy to recover life points. Eh. Well, I thought I was going to just have to jump. What the heck? Oh, do I have to... What? I'm touching it. Oh my... There we go. Okay. I swear I was touching it, but I guess you have to hit it with your feet or something. So now I have to make it to the next room without taking damage. This is one of the spells in this game. You can turn into a fairy, which is really cool if you ask me. It's really nice because you can fly to different places. And it's also just very quick, so if you just want to travel somewhere, that can help out. Unfortunately, I got hit right at the end there. <laughs> let's go, let's go! The guys are not even close to me. My dogs are going into a crazy barking frenzy right now. I'm guessing maybe the male's here, but we have to defeat Volvagia, who's also a boss in uh, Ocarina of Time, which is awesome. Gosh dang, my cats are going nuts right now. Can I even hurt them? Uh, by aiming for his face, so I do have to aim for the face. I'm not even getting a good shot at it. 
Maybe you have to do it when they're coming up. Dang it. Not even close there. There we go, I got him. Okay. So just gotta not fall off. I have plenty of life here, so I think I can do this as long as I don't... Uh, as long as I don't fall into the pit. Okay, so one more hit should do it. Come on. Come on. Ugh, got him! Wait! No! Are you serious? I did it! <laughs> I did it! Alright! I really thought I failed there. I did use the game over, so unfortunately only one star there. But let's go and do the two Super Mario Bros. 3 stages that remain. And I guess we'll call it a day after that. Hey guys, it is actually two days later. I was just about to start recording episode 14, and then I realized I never did stage 10 in the original video. In episode 13. So let's go do that right now. And then I guess I'll just go record episode 14. So here we have to defeat enemies in the Great Palace and level up. Okay, looks like we have to get 40 experience to level up. We have to get up to 9,000 in total. Our magic is completely empty, but I don't think we can actually open our magic menu anyways. Can we? Uh, it does not seem to. So we can't actually use any magic, so it doesn't matter. I guess they decided not to bring that over into this version of the game. But I'll just go and defeat this guy and see if I can get that 40 experience I need. Got some crazy fire-breathing griffin who's gonna get wrecked here! Stop throwing fires at me, bro. I'm trying to do a downward slash. It's not working out, so I am getting destroyed by one enemy. Keeps jumping over those slashes. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get killed by... Oh, I, I did it! Okay, never mind. So just one enemy was all I needed. I can't believe I almost got destroyed by just that. Drop through the hole and beneath the bridge. Okay. Why was that some... What? What? Why was that something I had to do? That is very, very undescriptive uh, instructions there. Oh, they mean this. Well, thanks for telling me that, game. I just went and killed myself for no reason. All right, just two more parts, and then we are actually finally done with Zelda 2. I've already gone back and gotten all of the rainbows, so I have all the rainbows except for this one for Zelda 2. I have to defeat this guy. Aim for the head, it says. He's doing a lot of damage to me, though. Aiming for the head's not exactly easy when you're constantly getting barraged by balls. Oh! Got him! Alright, was that the only hit I needed? Or did I happen to hit him the other times without realizing it? Defeat Shadow Link! Okay. Let me see if I can do this. Oh, gosh. Uh, downward slash maybe? Nope, this is gonna be a challenge, I think. He knows what I'm doing! Ah, crud, dude. I'm trying to be strategic here, but I don't know if there's anything I can really do. Oh, he only has one health left, come on! Did I get him? Yes! Take that, Shadow Link! That is probably not going to be a rainbow, but if it is, then I will have all 10 rainbows for Zelda 2. Let's see what we get here. Game? I guess we have to stand here and admire the Triforce? Oh, we have to go use the Triforce to revive Princess Zelda. Looks like we have all three pieces. The Triforce of Power, Triforce of Courage, and Triforce of Wisdom. Okay. This is a very advanced cutscene for the NES days, I'm sure. It worked! She's awake! What up? Is this confirmed Princess Zelda, or is this just a random princess? You saved Hyrule, and you are a real hero! Okay, and the curtains are gonna drop. Are we gonna smooch behind this curtain? We better. Alright. Oh! Oh, dang! We can still see them, kind of, and they definitely smooched right there. The end. So let's see what score I got. 1 minute and 19 seconds. Got a 3 star and a rainbow. So there we go, guys. I now have all 3... What? All 10 rainbows for Zelda 2. So I guess I'm going to cut back to the Super Mario Bros. 3 footage that is supposed to be part of episode 13. And I'll see you guys... Uh, there. So on to stage 15. We have to defeat Boom Boom. So this might be like a mini boss rush or something like that. Boom Boom should be easy enough. It's one of the easiest bosses ever in a Mario game, to be honest. Take that, Boom Boom. And we have six lives to do this with as well. That's nice. Oh, is this going to be Boom Boom in four different stages? All right. Oh, well, I got wrecked there because I just jumped a little bit too shallow. But I'll try to jump on top of these blocks this time. Let's see if that works out a bit better. It does. Oops, I should have gone to the right there. Let me try one more time. Let's go. If I die after this time, then I'll just edit ahead. But I think I got this. So we got him there. Oh, he almost got me. I mistimed that a little bit. Boom, gotcha. Jump right into my feet, bruh. Sorry about that. Just had some mail, but we are back. Okay, this time we're on a conveyor belt. This will probably be, probably be easier than the ice. Yeah, take that, boom, boom. I can't believe they give you six lives to do this. I mean, no offense, but boom, boom. 
You're not exactly very difficult, my dude. And just as I say that, he gets me. That's kind of how things work, though. I also noticed that when I enter this stage, I hear a pipe sound, but I'm coming out of wood. So maybe it's a wood pipe? I don't know. That seems very inefficient. It seems like those pipes would rot pretty easily. But anyways, we got stage 15 down, just one to go. And I'm guessing it's going to have something involving Bowser's Castle for the last one. And of course, two times bits, which is awesome for the rainbow. So many points there. And we get a Mario Golf kind of stamp. Are they going to make us play some Mario Golf after this? We'll find out. But it looks like we're going to have defeat Bowser as Frog Mario. The floor is weak. I already know how to fight this boss. You just have to get him to ground pound and he will break the blocks. Oh, we can only take one hit. Because if we get hit, we're, not long, we're no longer Frog Mario. And the challenge is to defeat him as Frog Mario. So that is going to be tricky indeed. Okay, go ahead and shoot your fireballs. Jump out. So this is actually one of the secret paths, because there's two different paths you can take in Bowser's Castle. One of the paths has three layers of blocks, and one of them has two layers. You can see this was clearly the two-layer path, which is supposed to be a secret path. So we only had to get him through two layers of bricks, and he is dead! So take that, Bowser. Frog Mario is the victor! If I feel like I, ch I should chase him right now, but I might fail. Alright, we got it. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Might have been a short one after all the edits. But we set out a goal to beat Zelda 2 and Mario Bros. 3 today, and we did exactly that. Got a couple rainbows along the way and a bunch of bits, so I'm pretty happy about that. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care.